You could say that I'm biased because I really like Starfield. Every few weeks, I find myself back in the game wandering around the universe. There is just something about flying from planet to planet, building my own ship, and running into random events in space that keeps me coming back for more. Though I love playing Starfield, even I can admit that building outposts are very underwhelming. Hopefully Bethesda will update and change that in the future, but for now I'm depending on mods. Today, I'm going to show you 5 mods that have made my outpost essential in my playthrough. So much so, that I come back to my base between every mission and rarely go to the cities. Stay until the end for a bonus mod that will make your outpost look more lived in. When setting up my outposts, I got very annoyed that I couldn't get the storage containers to snap on any side that I wanted, so when I found the base better container snapping mod created by LuxZG, I was relieved. I know that this doesn't seem essential because it's such a simple thing, but I can't stress enough how helpful this is when building outposts, so I felt like it had to be on the list. The only thing the mod does is add more snapping points to storage containers so you can snap them together however you want instead of the three points in the vanilla game. Speaking of containers, I want to show you the TN's Outpost Storage Storage Multiplier mod created by the OG Tennessee. You may not know this, but you will get frame rate dips if you build a lot of containers in your outposts. With this mod, you can increase the storage value by three times, five times, 10 times, 20 times, or 50 times the vanilla value. I recommend the 50 times. That way you won't have to build very many containers and you will be able to unload your ship's cargo hold every time you stop by your outpost with ease. Fallout 4 and Starfield have the same problem when it comes to legendary items in my opinion. All the legendary perks are random and there is no way to add specific ones to an item of your choice. With the legendary module recycler mod created by DM and uploaded by Big and Flabby, that is no longer a problem. This mod has two core functions. It will remove legendary effects from one item and enable you to place them on another. After using this mod for a while, it is essential for all my playthroughs. After installing the mod, the recycler will be placed in the basement at the lodge, but you can also build one at your outpost. When you interact with it, you will have three options. One will remove all legendary traits from items and give you some legendary cores. The other option will add three legendary slots to any weapon or armor that does not have the legendary effects. After that, you can go to either the weapons workbench or spacesuit workbench and add the effects that you have collected. You will not get enough cores to transfer traits to another item. You will either need to find more legendary items or buy cores from the recycler. You can also sell legendary effects back to the recycler if you need credits because buying cores is pricey. If you have put perk points into research, then the number of cores needed for a legendary slot will reduce a lot. Having one of the recyclers at my outpost has made me stop here after every mission to remove all the legendary effects from the armor and weapons I have picked up. It also helps me build out my character exactly the way I want with the modifiers that I need to play the way I like. Shipbuilding is probably my favorite thing about Starfield. There's something very attractive about designing a ship around your character's personality and traits. In the vanilla game though, if you want to see all the parts of every ship in the game, you will have to go to all the different vendors. This can be tedious and annoying if you want to get your ship just right. The Outpost Shipbuilder Unlocked ESM mod created by Golden Chrome is exactly what I was looking for. With this mod installed, all you need to do is build a landing pad with the shipbuilder at your outpost and you will have access to all vendor exclusive ship parts. I can't believe how much better this makes shipbuilding and how much more often I come to my outpost because of this mod. The last essential mod that I'm going to talk about has so many changes that there is no way I could go over all of them in this video. The Out Outpost Ultimate Tweaks mod created by Centerpat adds a lot of custom additions and changes to enhance the experience of outposts. It adds new items in every category, hundreds of decor items, uncut content, new crafting stations, an additional level of advanced technology items, and more. I've been playing around with this mod for a little while now and I'm very impressed with what it does. It adds so much and I really hope that Bethesda looks at this and starts taking notes. Here's just a few things. It increases the size of outposts by 100%. It removes the build limit of outposts. 
It increases the general build height of outposts, makes it easier to build on angled terrain like mountains. It decreases the distance between extractors. It adds an extractor that can retrieve resources from anywhere on the planet. It adds an ammo printer, matter converter, food synthesizer, organic synthesizer, and explosives fabricator. Power output is increased for all devices. Add a coffee brewer for those that want to brew their own coffee, tea, and select drinks. It adds turrets and increases the build limit of them to 10. It allows the construction of faction mission terminals when they are available for use. It allows the construction of a trade authority vendor kiosk and an outpost supply terminal and so much more. Having a trade terminal and mission boards from all the different factions alone makes outpost more essential in my opinion. This model alone has brought me back to my outpost more than anything else on this list. Since you stayed until the end, I wanted to show you another mod. It doesn't make outposts essential or anything like that, but it does make them look better in my opinion. The lived-in outpost mod created by Eurelianus adds several shelves, tables, and bookcases with clutter for a more lived-in look. You will be able to build shelves, baskets, bulletin boards, paintings, lights, place settings, desks, bookcases, tables, and more plants. All of these will make your outpost look like you or your companion have been living there for a while. After installing all of these mods, I come back to my outpost between every mission. I will unload all resources from my ship, pull all legendary effects from items, sell all my unwanted items, craft whatever I need, and put whatever part I want on my ship. I used to be disappointed in outposts, but with these mods installed, I can't stay away from them. Let me know down in the comments if you found a mod that enhances your outpost in Starfield. While you're down there, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to know what gear I'm using, then check out the Amazon Associates links in the description. If you want to help the channel directly, then tap on the super thanks icon before leaving a comment or consider becoming a channel member. Speaking of which, this is a shout out to the channel's member, Bud Emmer. Thank you so much for the support, Bud. If any of you are playing through Starfield as a bounty hunter and you're looking for some mods to enhance that experience, then check out this video right over here. Thanks for watching everyone. It was nice seeing you here, but I gotta go. I'm Joey Keith. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Later.